Ladies and gentlemen, you see, uh, first of all, see this video. It is no secret that the Yahoo boys are people, the people moving the economy of Nigeria right now. Like what I said in the part one of this video, the hotel rooms are all booked full. And who are bo those booking them? The Yahoo boys. If you go to all the eateries, who are the boys sitting at the chest eating? They are the Yahoo boys. Then we come to a question. Will the government decide to curb Yahoo? Will the government be justified to say they will curb Yahoo? In my own opinion, the government is not justified to say they want to curb Yahoo because in the first instance, the government never provided anything for them. There's no provision for employment. In the past uh, couple of years, major, major big companies are closing up and the economic climate in Nigeria is not good. So I want to appeal to the government that these Yahoo boys should be left alone. Because if you decide to go after them, there will be, there'll be greater... Now, that's a video of one man coming out to see Yahoo boys are the one uh, moving the economy of Nigeria now. Yahoo boys are the one booking all the hotels. They are the one driving all the cars. They are the one running the economy. Uh, you see, um, if we check critically, somehow this man might be correct but in another way he is not 100 percent correct first of all yahoo boys in my own opinion have done more harm than good in the nigeria economic system yes and of course uh in representing the nigeria outside nigeria you know it is not a belief that an average nigerian is a potential scammer yes by people outside nigeria you know and you see things like this should not be encouraged in our society whether good or bad it is not in the place of anybody to say government should leave yahoo boys alone you are trying to say that government should legalize criminality that's what you are trying to say now let's talk about yahoo plus do you know the atrocities these yahoo plus people are doing all in the name of yahoo you know you see people they will take their fellow human being buy them remove vital parts and all of those things we have seen it time and time again some years ago it was trending pant pant get missing you know Ladies visit young guys and before you know, pant get missing. And so many things, this ideology of uh, get rich quick syndrome has made a lot of young people to do the unexpected and unimaginable. And an elder in the society who is supposed to correct this impression is backing it up. Probably maybe his own child is one of them. Uh, that's the reality. Somebody like this, if you check well, you will discover that maybe he was a pauper. Then his child became one of these people and alleviated him from poverty. But on the long run, you are encouraging laziness in the society as well. That is why in today's Nigeria, our educational quality have gone down because the ideology of school is scam that was being preached by these so-called yahoo people has made a lot of students become lazy during covid 19 we saw a case where uh, a secondary school student went for covid 19 uh, lockdown then during the process he peaked he returned back to school with an exotic car humiliating the teacher we don't see all these things but we are seeing the okay let's talk about the economic value that these people are bringing as you said on a normal day, a shirt that is to cost at least 5,000 naira. Those who sell it, we sell it to Yahoo boys 20, 15, 30, 40, 50,000 naira. And they will buy it effortlessly, making it difficult for someone who is not into that kind of business or that kind of game, uh, game to afford something of that nature. It boils down to uh, the crashing of our um, currency. Even the hotels you are talking about, an hotel room that is supposed to worth maybe 20,000 per night, 
But because of these people, the hotel management will skyrocket the price to 50, 70. And they will conveniently take a suit, 150. Sometimes they will even pay one month ahead. They are not helping the situation at all. Rather, they are making life uncomfortable for the common man. Because not everyone is a scammer. What about the security risk? As a young man in Nigeria today, when you are looking good, looking fine, looking fresh with your uh, hard-earned money, when the uh, law enforcement agents see you, they instantly label you a Yahoo boy. Before you will identify yourself to say, I'm not a monk, you must have spent a lot of money. They must have taught you. Your hair could not see shaggy. So what are we talking about? Come to the international space. Look at the case of Osh Poppy. And so many other people like that. Even to the extent that sometimes we see uh, international forces coming to Nigeria to track down people. You think that is good for our society? Things like this shouldn't be encouraged. Yahoo has done more harm than good. And if you are a Yahoo boy and you are seeing this video, brother man, know it and know it well that you are a lazy fellow. If you say you are not lazy, then go to the street, go and also as your mate also. That money where you take the brag. Then your gamma where they do furniture, where they do weather, where they sell for market. If you can compete with them in using your strength and your wisdom to also and make money, then you are hardworking. Everybody can do scam. That is why you see people where not even go school at all. People do not know they are left to their right. They do it and succeed in it. But not everybody is smart enough to do legitimate business and make it. Y'all have done more harm than good in the Nigeria space. 